Hi everyone, my name is Smriti. Welcome to the new video tutorial of a Cream CRM. Today we will discuss how to register and obtain OAuth credentials that is client ID and client secret ID. Alright, so for that uh, we need to register our application to the Google. Okay, so before proceeding further for this video, please do subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon to receive the latest update from our site. So for that you need to sign in in your Google account as I have already signed in in my Google account and uh, after that you have to go to the URL console.cloud.google.com and uh, when you open this URL you can see here in a menu section API and the services okay so for that you need to go to the library section as you can see here in the library when you will reach uh, you have to go to the Google plus APIs so yeah you can see here Google plus API and to just you need to click here and enable this API okay and for creating the project uh, uh, you need uh, to go to the this section as I have already created uh, one project so now I will create uh, my another project uh, the APIs is enabled so I'll go to um, the project uh, section and uh, as you can see here new project uh, so once you will click here you have to register your project that is a uh, crane CRM crane CRM and uh, click on a create so your project will create here now go to the credential section for creating the credentials uh, for your uh, project now click on a create credentials as you can see here OAuth client ID you need to click here as it is showing uh, to create an OAuth client ID you must first configure your consent screen so yeah you have to go to the configure consent screen and configure um, about a project you have to choose here user type I'm uh, choosing here external and then click on create as you can see here you have to enter your app information so my app name is uh, crane crm i'm putting here crane crm support mail id you have to choose from the drop down and uh, go to the developers contact uh, mail id so you have to put uh, the developers uh, contact information and click on save and continue and uh, here uh, no need to put any information just go to save and continue uh, and here uh, when you will reach your test user so you can add the users also for your particular app as i am adding my email id and uh, click on add so that particular user will add for your app now click on save and continue and so now you're configured with uh, consent screen so again you have to go to the credentials and click on a create credentials and again OAuth client id and uh, from here you have to select uh, the application type as uh, my application type is web application so i'm selecting here web applications okay you have to add it to your new web uh, name also as it is a uh, by default mentioned web client one and so you need to put here authorized javascript origins uh, you can add here uri or if you want to redirect uh, any uri so you have to um, add from the add uri as i am putting yeah i have added uh, this uri 
for redirecting and click on create as you can see here o auth client id and secret id is created yeah I now click on ok and uh, when you'll go to the added o auth client you can see here the client id and the secret id okay so near future if you want to add uri so you can add here also and you can add javascript origins as well so i will use this client id in secret id my upcoming uh, video that is uh, how to sync a google calendar with laravel crm so yeah we will meet in next video thank you so much for watching have a nice day